I had probably drank maybe a quarter of a cup of her blood, and it made me feel euphoric. It was like tasting pure power. Pretty much drinking blood was the only option. I've had people tell me that my blood tastes really good to them. A lot of people would want to be involved in touching the blood or actually drinking the blood. If I could stop drinking blood, I definitely would. When I was asked to make a film about real-life vampires in America, I had no idea what to expect. Could there really be people out there drinking human blood, especially in an age where blood-borne diseases like AIDS and hepatitis are commonplace and the risks are so high? The scene I unearthed both surprised and shocked me. My journey begins in New York, where the goth scene clearly reflects America's fascination with the dark side. Over the last decade, this scene has splintered, diversified and branched out into various subsets. One of these subsets is the vampire community. When I heard about this scene, images of the Hollywood stereotype flashed through my mind. But these people have taken the sexual license, charisma and transcending qualities of the vampire and made it their own. Even just walking down the street in broad daylight, you can run into self-identified vampires. It seems teenagers, especially outcasts, are attracted to the vampire scene because it seems to offer them stability, a sense of belonging, as well as being a rebellious alternative to normal society. The vampire scene was um, icing on the cake for me. Pretty much most of us just been like the outskirts, like the outcast of families who need something and look for other ways to belong. The things I tell people when they tell me that I'm a freak, I'm a vampire, I'm whatever they call me, all I say is, well, I am who I am, and you are who you are. If you don't like it, that's too bad. People, they say, why is he looking all weird and all? And usually my first response is, why do you look so normal? My parents basically think that, you know, I have issues because of the way I act. You know, they, they think that, you know, if I don't follow their footsteps, that I'm queer, I'm gay, I have issues, you know, I need to go to a mental hospital because there's something wrong with me because I choose to express myself differently than most people. Most teenagers are referred to as role players because they like to dress up, hang out in gangs, and for the most part are pretty harmless. But I had heard that there were people called lifestylers who took their roles much more seriously, even to the point where they drank human blood. The teenagers I met told me about a costume shop downtown where I would find a lifestyler who specializes in making fangs. This is Halloween Adventure, you know, it's one of the largest costume shops and special effects shops in the city. We have a lot of interesting stuff for the um, Halloween season, which we are in right now. So it's very busy right now, very busy. We get every, all different types of people come in here. I mean, you know, police officers, doctors, lawyers, performers, everything. It's, it's, uh, there's a lot of, uh, lot of stuff that supplies the, the need that's out there, and it's all under one roof. There's a definite vampire community that does exist all around the world in different areas. New York has a rather large one. I'm sure there are other areas that have even bigger communities. Vincent told me that he'd been in the scene for years. I thought he might know about blood drinking, or perhaps he'd even drunk blood himself. As far as... Um, Drinking the drinking of blood within, you know, the fact that hey, we're all vampires, vampires drink blood, yes. Um, yeah, most, for the most part, it don't happen. For the most part, many people don't, don't, don't do that. You know, it's too dangerous. Now, if it's something that's done in your personal, you know, in, in, in a, an appropriate place, you're doing it for as part of a ritual or something like that, and hey, it's it, that's what you do. So blood drinking has been something that's been around for eons. So. You yourself drink blood? Um, I have, I have, and, and, and you know, and, I, and like I said, for me, it's something. It's a, it's, it's a sharing, and that's only done. I've only maybe had maybe two or three individuals in my time who I've deemed worthy in my eyes to drink of mine, and I drink of theirs. You know, it's, it's, and even then, it's not, it's not a lot. I mean, a pinprick is all that I feel is necessary. You know, like I said, I know people who want to like and just, you know, have a glass full, you know, like a beer, you know. That's to me that's not that's over overdoing. It's not it's not it's not the proper way. 
I then followed Vincent to a hidden room at the back of the shop, known only as the Transfertorium. So we try to keep it well hidden behind a little pink kimono here, secret door. <laughs> they tell us what fangs they want, what style. We get take them in the back, and we take a dental impression, which is, you know, we take the impression, put stone in it, this is basically what the person's teeth look like. And then I take acrylic and I mold it to the teeth. Then I shave them down from this till they look kind of like that. Like this is a really bad example of a, of a fang, but this is the only thing I have laying around right now. But we carve it down to somewhat of a shape, like a pointed shape. Season is around Halloween. Automatically, everybody wants fangs because everybody wants to be a vampire for Halloween. And everybody wants to have the best costume. But the cheapest set we have is the classic canine, which is on the canine teeth, or the Lilith, which is right next to the canine, right, more prominent in front. I am the only person who has blood grooves in my fangs. In fact, I'll show you. Let's take these off. blood groove right here basically like it's a I like knives like I'm big on knives and weaponry and stuff a knife when you or a fang is a stabbing weapon when you stab you know it acts like a cork when you pull release from the body the skin closes and that doesn't release a lot of blood this you stick it right in and keep it in and the blood will come out through the blood groove that's what the blood groove is I just think it's a very intimidating look, and I thought it would be cool if it could be done. So I had to make it. I don't drink blood, but whatever. You know, it's still a pretty cool look. As Sinner sat there filing down fangs, I wondered if he was curious about what kind of people bought them and what they might use them for. Do I look at people and wonder what they're going to use the fangs for? Uh, sometimes. It depends on what they're really talking about back here. It depends on how they look. Some people, you could look at them and just tell they're using this for a costume party. There's a costume party going on, and they want to be the one with the best costume. Other people come back here, and she's like, I really wonder what they're doing. You know, I wonder what they plan, plan on doing with these bags. 